It's an old idea, but the US military is redeveloping a form of technology that gives them the edge without risking lives. Unmanned drones are now a major part of the US arsenal, capable of everything from launching strikes to being an invisible spy. From Iraq to Afghanistan and Libya, the drone fleet is deadly. The ability to attack by remote without risk. Drone manufacturing has become a $95 billion market. No one makes more of them than Air Environment, and they come in all sizes. Welcome to the world of the nano drone. The Hummingbird weighs less than a AA battery. This prototype is designed to fly from room to room. The video camera is right below the beak, sends down live color video. A multi-million dollar project commissioned by the military. They wanted something that could fly outdoors, indoors, deliver a small payload. This is Titan 1-4, no signs of life. Even the new recruitment ads are selling the drone army to a video game generation. Unmanned aircraft is identifying enemy sniper. From the deadly predator drones to the smaller eyes in the sky. This plane sends back live video and can stay airborne and undetected for hours. It's, uh, it's akin to having a binocular, a pair of binoculars up in the sky. They're taking them in Afghanistan as fast as they can get them. They're flying them down the routes ahead of the patrol, ahead of the convoys in order to find IEDs or find the bad guys. Before the attacks of September 11, the US military had less than 200 drones. Now it has more than 15,000. And don't think that this is just for the army. It could be looking into your backyard pretty soon. This drone has been built for police. They plan on using them in Los Angeles by the end of the year. You could put this, break it down, put it in the trunk of a car, and it'll be right there where you need it. The rest of the world is also watching. Denham Hitchcock, Nine News, Los Angeles.